I'm sure you've seen Jojo Siwa's new look all over Instagram and TikTok as she's recently revealed this new bad girl image and she's having a bit of a Miley Cyrus moment. I'm sorry, the old Jojo can't come to the phone right now. Why? That bitch is in dreamland. But I have a conspiracy that it's all a distraction. In Dance Moms, Jojo was always super loud and known for her bow which is now iconic and has reportedly made her $400 million from her deal with Claire's. And naturally, she couldn't have kept this look up forever, so it makes sense that she's grown up and outgrown the bow. But what's suspicious is the timing. Since Dance Moms, Jojo has been the biggest star, which is quite surprising if you watch the show, because a lot of us thought it would be Maddie. But she's really built an empire, and this empire includes a girl group that she created with her mum called XOMG Pop, which is basically like a kid-friendly little colourful pop group which dances, makes TikToks, sings, all the stuff. But recently, one of the members, Leah, revealed that Jojo and her mum, Jocelyn, were actually horrible to her on the show and saying that Jojo was basically the next Abby Lee Miller. A former member of XOMG Pop has alleged that she was mistreated during a time in Jojo Siwa's girl group. The Sandersons allege that participants in the show were subjected to insults from Jocelyn and Jojo and gruelling rehearsal schedules. Leia, who has spina bifida, recalls bleeding through her belly button during a rehearsal. Allegedly, instead of having Leah take a break, Jocelyn told her to put a maxi pad on it to protect her costume. Leia also alleges that after surgery, she was told to come back to work before the physician recommended recovery period. Which is actually quite interesting because since the show ended, Jojo is one of the only girls who's still in contact with Abby and definitely the most supportive of her publicly. To be fair, Jojo didn't join Dance Moms. She wasn't an OG cast member, so she did know what she was getting into a bit more than the other girls. And it's also interesting because on Dance Moms, Jojo's mum, Jessalyn, was actually really mean, especially to Bryn. And Bryn has come out and said that Jessalyn was the only mum who was actually mean to her. Talk about some of that stuff. Well, that was like a thing for like weeks was that I was boring. That was Jessalyn. Which that is literally not true. I will say, and there's not one mother that I would actually trash. Jessalyn was never nice to us. Never, never, never nice to us. Never invited Bryn to anything. <laughs> That's why I got invited to a birthday party to jo JoJo's. Yeah, you didn't tell me that. We went, me, you, and Brooke. Oh, Forrest. when you were there, like eight years old. But yeah. nothing after that. That no. was the only time. Yeah, I truly, Jocelyn's the only one I ever felt like truly, truly did not like us and didn't want us there. I felt like everybody else was just doing their job. Yeah, which is funny because JoJo's platform is anti-bullying. It was clear Jocelyn just wanted JoJo to be on top, and was annoyed that Brim was the highest awarded dancer because I think. She had the national title, like the biggest national title. Even though we don't know what actually took place, it kind of makes sense that what this girl from XOMG Pop is saying is true and that Jessalyn and Jojo created quite a toxic environment, especially for these kids, like they're just children. And I think it makes sense because I think part of the reason that Jojo did end up becoming so famous was because... Jessalyn was a little bit pushy and did a lot to ensure Jojo became famous. For example, Jessalyn's been bleaching Jojo's hair since she was only two years old. I have been dyeing my hair since I was like two, maybe one and a half. I'm not a natural blonde. I'm actually a natural brown. I get brown roots, so I have to dye it so it looks like I'm a natural blonde. The mum from XOMG Pop has said that the others are under NDAs and that's why they can't share their experience of being in the group. So now Jojo's released this new adult version of herself and she's even gone as far as to call it revolutionary and never been done before. Like girl, Miley Cyrus did this literally just a few years ago. And it's strange because Jojo's even admitted that she takes inspiration from Miley's transformation. But I wonder if it's all an act and I've definitely seen comments saying that they think it's an act it's interesting because Jojo has grown up in the spotlight, so maybe she can't turn it off, you know? Maybe this is just her. Maybe she is literally just very traumatic. I mean, she was a very loud child, so it's not unbelievable. 
But maybe she's doing all this, saying it's a new her, deliberately saying this has never been done before. She's creating this new genre of pop. I wanted to start a new genre of music. And they said, what do you mean? And I said, well, it's called gay pop. The songs like Applause by Lady Gaga. It's the On My Own, Miley Cyrus. Can't Be Tamed, Miley Cyrus. Karma, it's that that world of music. It's no secret that my transition is heavily inspired by Miley Cyrus, of, of course. Miley's flip, Miley's switch, Miley's turn was the greatest thing that I've witnessed with my own two eyes. And she's saying all these things that she knows isn't true to get attention, because it is, it's working. She's getting a lot of attention from it. For example, she was saying that she's going to be redefining the music industry when the song already exists. I can't help but think that it's all a distraction, that it's all an act. Jojo knows she wasn't a bad girl. Like, that's literally ridiculous. She was the Jojo Siwa with the bows. She wasn't a bad girl, excluding the cheating rumours, which I don't personally think she's referring to because I don't think she wants people to bring up the fact that she cheated. That would be bizarre and it would make me think that she doesn't actually take it as serious. But she should. But I feel like she was starting to be called out on what this girl had said about XOMG pop and her treatment and suddenly when these allegations came out she's become this new Jojo and while I'm sure she did want to outgrow the bow phase I think the timing is interesting because as far as I know she never acknowledged the allegations and wasn't held accountable because now everyone's moved on so it's definitely suspicious for example she was always like a pretty good dancer and people were saying, like, why can't she dance this new dance? Like, this new dance she's doing very dramatically. And I just wonder if it's all for attention, so that either her new music gets really popular or to distract from the allegations. But to be honest, overall, I definitely think it's an act. Obviously, Jojo has years of experience dancing and is a very good dancer. So people are saying she's deliberately not trying her best so that the video goes a little bit more viral. And to be honest, doing these videos for attention isn't out of the realm of possibility when you consider she's also posted videos like this where the fall is obviously on purpose and then she goes and ices the wrong foot if she was a new her she should post pictures smoking she should post pictures drinking she should kind of do something that's a little bit more rebellious but all we've seen is her wearing a black outfit like it's not a bad girl so it will be really interesting to see if it all pays off and she does indeed manage to change her image and mature when Miley Cyrus ditched her Disney girl phase, and she did it very successfully, she was seen partying, she did seem like it was genuine. This seems like an act. So the thing is, I think it's a step in the right direction if that's what she wants to end up as, but I don't think it's enough to completely change her image. What do you think about all of this? Do you believe that JJ has really started a new phase and is truly a bad girl, or do you think it's an act? And if you think it's an act, do you think it's because of the allegations made against her trying to distract? Or is she just trying to ditch the Bobo phase? Either way, I do definitely find this new song Karma quite catchy. And I think this has definitely been a successful marketing tactic. Please like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe. Thanks.